Did you know that in the history of spies, women have been some of the most effective operatives? And in the U.S. Civil War, spies on both sides of the divide gathered vital intel for their cause. Beginning in 1861 and lasting for five long years, the Civil War in the United States was fought over states' rights and slavery and pitted the United States government against breakaway Confederate states. While battles raged, behind the scenes, a secret war for intelligence also took place, and women played a vital role. At a time when gender discrimination meant that women were often expected to run the household, while their husbands, brothers, and sons went to fight, female secret agents could gather and pass on information without anyone noticing. In plain sight of the public, and often enemy eyes, they went about their covert business by doing things like hiding stolen goods in the folds of their hoop skirts, packing medicines into dolls' heads, and hiding messages in food. Who could not be enthralled by the stories of female spies like Belle Boyd, AKA the Siren of Shenandoah, who socialized with Union soldiers to gather information for Confederate leaders like General Stonewall Jackson? Rose O'Neill Greenhow wrote secret ciphers, which were sewn into clothes, while Harriet Tubman, a Union spy and military commander, organized a team of black Union soldiers to scout behind Confederate lines. Elizabeth Van Lu led a Union spy ring in Richmond, Virginia, the main capital of the Confederacy. When the war ended, General Grant praised the information she provided through her coded dispatches. At a time when the punishment for spying could be death, these women put their lives on the line and had a significant impact on the war. Why do you think some women chose to work as spies during the Civil War? <laughs> 